Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Being a Linux user for so long, I really feel like there's very few things that are lacking within Linux. However, having used all three operating systems from Windows to Mac to Linux, there's definitely things that are missing. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five missing features in Linux. Now the features that I'm going to be focusing on are things that are built in and that are native to the operating systems. Now depending on how you use your computer, these could be a good or a bad thing. So let's go ahead and start with number five, and that is less freedom. And so you're probably wondering how having less freedom is a missing feature. Well, just think about the average user of Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac OS. Most average users are not uber geeks and nerds who would actually tinker with the operating system. And so a lot of people who use their computer are pretty much people who really like convenience. And so whenever you're using Microsoft Windows and especially Apple's Mac OS, those operating systems take care of a lot of the technical things underneath to where people don't have to think about it. Okay, things such as system updates and also security updates as well. But there are so many other things that these other operating systems offer in terms of convenience for the average user. Now, I myself, I really feel Linux is much easier to use. But once again, the majority of people who use their computers are not going to be like Linux users. So less freedom is bad for Linux users, but less freedom for people who use Windows and Apple's Mac OS is probably actually a good thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to number four, and that is the voice assistant. Now, this is could be very controversial, as I think for a lot of Linux users, we don't like the fact that there could be something listening in to everything that we're doing on our computer. But if you actually simply look at where the entire industry, no matter what field you're in, is heading, it's all heading towards natural language technology. If you look at your mobile devices, you can look at your home assistants, any of these smart devices, and obviously on your operating system itself, it's becoming more and more common for people to use some type of voice assisted technology. And as natural language gets more and more advanced and the artificial intelligence that goes with it, more and more people are going to rely on voice technology versus actually having to type anything in. And so that is another thing that these two operating systems, like with Microsoft Windows, they offer Cortana, Apple Mac OS is Siri, and then if you're using something like a Chromebook, you're going to be using Google Now services. Now, I myself, I'm really uh, glad that we don't have that natively built into Linux right now, but I could easily see that in the future, this might be something that is going to be built into all the major distros because of where we're heading. Okay. And so what is the number three missing feature in Linux? That is built in support. Now, if you have been a Linux user for a long time, you are probably used to learning how to figure out problems and figuring out solutions to these problems, whenever you're using your operating system. But once again, the average user does like convenience. And when it comes to having technical issues on their computer, it's a lot easier for most people to just have some type of built-in help available. Now, within both Microsoft and Apple's Mac OS, they already have built-in help tools, most of which is automated, which is virtual assistants, but they could also get somebody to actually log into their machine, especially in Microsoft where they do allow backdoor access to where you know, people can actually take over their machines and troubleshoot their problems. Now, once again, for Linux user, this is probably something that they don't really need. But an average user who isn't really technical or who don't want to spend a lot of time, this is definitely a benefit for them. So let's go ahead and move on to the number two missing feature, and that is consistency. Now, even though Linux has gotten so much better, especially with the major distros, I really feel that it's definitely not at the level of a Microsoft Windows or especially an Apple Mac OS where there is consistency across the board in terms of how things look, how things function, and just the whole look and feel of everything, okay? The whole user experience. It's one consistent experience. And so that is really important because a lot of people do like consistency. And if you do look at modern Linux, it's a lot more consistent than it used to be but once again, Linux has so many different versions or distributions. And so there is definitely a lack of consistency, especially when you think about the way that programs look as well 
Whereas in the whole Microsoft and Apple world, that is simply not the case. Things look and feel and operate very similarly because of the consistency rules that they have in place. So what is the number one missing feature in Linux? That is the ecosystem. The whole entire ecosystem that both Microsoft and Apple provide is the main reason why people would choose those operating systems over something like Linux. Because whenever you have this entire ecosystem, you know, whether it would be for business, whether it would be for entertainment, you know, whether it would be for productivity, those things cannot be understated. That's why a lot of people who are on these ecosystems, especially Apple users, it's really hard for them to move anywhere else because so much of what they do is dependent upon this ecosystem. Now Linux, it does have its own ecosystem, but it really depends on the distro that they're using and the community support that's behind it. Whereas companies like Microsoft and Apple, that is how they make their money. That is how they stay in business. It's all because of the ecosystem that they provide. And you know, that is something that in the future, it might be more commonplace in Linux as well. But right now, that is the number one missing feature within Linux, you know, having this cohesive, really a large ecosystem that really offers everything that a lot of people would like, okay, and that they actually use on a daily basis. And so if you had any thoughts on the top five missing features that I talked about today, whether you feel like these are not missing features and they're actually benefits, or whether there are other things that you feel that should be in Linux natively that isn't, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.